So what do you do as a parent when your child wants something so bad, but you simply can't make it happen for them? Hey there, I'm Dr. Dave, and on today's Thrive in 5, I'll share a simple principle called Grant in Fantasy to help you respond in a positive way when your child wants everything. So stick around. You may recall that we're all born with three essential needs in life. It's safety, satisfaction, and connection. And as parents, we do our best to meet these needs and respond positively when they reach out with bids for connection. We also want to help make their lives fun and exciting and help them learn new things to meet their need for satisfaction and growth. But what do we do as parents when they really want something that we either can't give or don't want to for other reasons? Well, it can get tricky, but I learned a pretty cool principle years ago from my favorite two parenting books. Between parenting child and raising an emotionally intelligent child, these are the best. And I'll leave a link in the descriptions or comments below. So it's about learning to grant something in fantasy that you can't grant in reality. Here's an example. Let's say you're out shopping and your child really wants a toy at the store, but there's no way you're buying it for him. There are all kinds of ways you could respond, but if you're anything like me, most of them probably wouldn't be very helpful. Things like, we didn't come to the store to buy toys today, or I can't afford that, plus you already have so many toys at home, you don't need any more toys. Or what about this one? You want every toy you see, but I told you before, I'm not buying you toys, so quit asking, or you're not coming to the store with me ever again. Okay, I'm sure you've been there before, and maybe even given some of these types of responses. It's not easy being a parent and listening to constant demands and whining. It's draining, especially at the store. So here's a different response. Granting and fantasy might sound something like this. Oh, wow, you love those toys, don't you? Oh, that'd be so fun to play with. Oh, your friend has that, right? Does she love it? Tell me how that works. Or should we take a picture of it and put it on your birthday or Christmas list so we don't forget it? Okay, now, do you see the difference? It doesn't give them what they want, but it does give them the very best next thing. And that is knowing you hear them and understand what they want and you care about their world and what they like. It's really about having compassion and seeing the toy from their perspective. And granted, it doesn't always work out well in the end. You could then try distracting them and moving along to other toys or asking for their help grabbing a box of cereal down another aisle. Children love to help, so giving them responsibilities and tasks can help them feel important and included. And they might even forget about the toy. But even if they don't, and they keep reminding you how much they want it, instead of arguing with them, agree with them and say things like, I know you really did want that toy, and man, those looked really fun. I'm sorry we can't get that toy today. The principle can be used in all kinds of situations. When your child wants to go somewhere, when your partner sees a new car they like on a TV commercial, and pretty much any other scenario. I remember my wife came home one night after a fun girls' night out, eating dinner together. It was late, and I was brushing my teeth. She came in the bathroom really excited and said, Honey, me and the girls decided to go on a cruise. Well, I spit the toothpaste out of my mouth. I rinsed, and then I stood up, and I completely blew it. I turned to her, and I said, yeah, right. Where are you going to get the money for that? And she was totally deflated. I think she turned and looked at me and then she said, good one, Mr. Marriage Man. Now, looking back, if I just would have granted in fantasy, it would have gone so much better. I should have said, oh man, that'd be so fun. Where do you guys talk about going? But instead, I crushed her dream before it even took off. Even if she didn't go, which, which she didn't, the principal is turning toward her dream and expressing excitement. And that's really the principle. If someone's excited about something, then you get excited because they are. Even if it's something you don't totally understand. If your son comes up from playing video games and he won or he did something amazing and he's excited to tell you, instead of telling him how dumb you think video games are, get excited with him. If your husband shares something exciting that happened at work, you get excited and ask questions as well. If your teenager wants the new iPhone 23 so I can teleport myself to my friends, then you grant fantasy and share how great that would be to push a button and send you to your friends every few weeks. Now, I get it. It doesn't always work and may even backfire. But deep down, it's not a trick at all. It's about truly having compassion, seeing the world from their shoes, 
and being positive and happy for others because you love them and you care about their world, even when you may not understand their world completely. For more information, visit relationships.usu.edu.